Hello and welcome to a very quick training session on how to upgrade a DS2 M2 IP based platform using the CD upgrade process. There are two distinct steps to this process, firstly to prepare the CD with the upgrade software and secondly to perform the upgrade. So the first stage of the CD upgrade is to prepare the CD with the software that you require. So using a PC with connection to the internet, navigate to www dedicatedmicros.com On the left hand side of the page you will see a software download section. Enter this link and then select from the left hand side the product which you wish to upgrade. In this process we're doing the DS2 M2 IP based platform. So select that platform and press go. You will immediately be presented with a selection of software downloads which are our latest release. The software that you require for the CD upgrade is plainly identified as CD upgrade. Simply select that link, follow the prompts and download that zip file to a folder on your PC. Once the software has been downloaded from our website, it will be in a zip file format. If you right click on that file and extract all, you will be left with the ISO formatted file. Once the ISO file has been extracted, select a suitable ISO image burning software that are readily available on the internet, such as Nero or Roxio. Select a CD or DVD minus R and place that into your PC. Now using the software that you have selected, navigate to the ISO file and continue to burn the disk. So now using the software that you burned to CD or DVD. Obviously you can see I've clearly identified that CD with the software that's on it. Insert that CD into your DVD drive, like so, and close the drawer. Now press the menu key until you reach the time, date and language page. Using the yellow down arrow, navigate to the system, system shutdown option. Okay. Along the bottom of the screen, you will also see the version of software that you currently have on your DVR. Please take a note of this version in case you would wish to revert back to that software version at a later date. Okay. Now, using the right blue arrow key, move across once, and then navigate down using the yellow button. Okay. You will now be given the option to abort shutdown, press menu mode key, or to press the camera one key to create a shutdown. If at this point you press and hold camera four key until the countdown reaches zero, and then you are prompted with please wait while we're restarting. The DVR will now restart and on reboot will read the CD that you've placed into the drive and begin the update procedure. So the message on screen is that we're loading applications from CD DVD and you'll see that the drive is being addressed and being read from by the yellow indication.
the DVR is now basically looking on the disk for any updates that are available in the correct format. And if they're present, it will proceed into the update process. So you can see now we've been presented with a green screen with some options. Okay, the first option is to um, select one and format all drives. Um, second one is press two and select the drives you wish to format. In this case, as we're only performing a system upgrade, we would choose option number three, no format. Okay. The next option is to confirm that you are happy with this option. Okay, and to confirm that, press the menu key. If you were not happy, you would press the event key to cancel. Okay. And this will initiate the upgrade process. So as you can see from the on-screen system upgrade progress, the application is complete, the bootloader is complete, and we're currently still upgrading the web pages. And so now you can see that the, the web page upgrade has completed and we are now upgrading the PC applications. So as you can see now, the upgrade of the PC apps is complete and the upgrade of the E2 IP is now complete as well. And another indication of completeness is the fact that the CD tray has ejected. The unit will now reboot and with the CD tray still ejected should boot up using the new software that you've just installed. So while the DVR is restarting, remove the CD and close and so once the DVR is fully rebooted, confirm that the software update has been completed successfully by selecting the menu key and navigating to the time, date and language page. And you will see that the previous software version has been replaced with the new software version. And that concludes the CD upgrade process for DS2 M2IP based platform. Thank you.